everybody, Arnaldo Wofferman here of Arceus Media Master Video Manuals. Now today I want to talk to you about my absolute favorite feature of Media Master 5 and that is the Video Mapper. Now the Video Mapper looks exactly the same for the most part except for one big difference and that notable difference is that the Video Mapper contains soft edge blending which is wonderful. Now to make this example really extreme I'm using two Vivitech projectors. They are identical. But as you can tell from the video, one of them is definitely brighter than the other. It's got to be something with the lamp. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. These are just practice projectors because the settings, everything is identical. But as you can see, there's a big difference there. Luckily, the video mapper will allow us to correct that. And I'll show you how in just a moment. The very first thing we need to do is let's go ahead and full screen it. And we are going to merge both projectors together to create one grouping. And now you can really see how much different both projectors are. We're going to want to identify the displays. I can see the B1 on my actual setup. B1 is on the left. And yet on my projectors, B1 is on the left. B2 is on the right. So, hey, we're good to go there. If for any reason it's backwards, you can just grab, like, for example, the B2 here on the mouse. Move it back and you can see how it automatically adjusted itself. So we are good. Wonderful. I'm going to delete one of these surfaces. You only need to have one surface here and that's it. With the video mapper, we're going to map two different things. First, we need to map both projectors into one nice congruent projection and then we're going to do our edge blending. So I'm going to just grab my projector over here. We'll go into our correction and you can do a geometry correction which is what I'm going to grab on B2. Let's see. Actually, we're going to leave that exactly like it is for now. I want to start with B1. And there we go. There we go. Okay. Now on B2, we're going to grab. Oops. We're going to grab. There we go. Right here. Make sure it looks good. And right there. And then we're going to need to grab the bottom left, bring it up. All right, looks good. So we're going to go ahead and grab uh, on either B1 or B2, it doesn't matter, but I'm just going to go ahead and grab that corner or that edge where both projectors meet and we're going to turn it on. We're going to grab the width. All right, so we're going to grab it all right there. Perfect, perfect. And now we're going to take that curve. And we're not going to mess with the curve yet too much. We're going to leave it as is right now. And actually, that looks really good, except for the fact that one projector is bluer than the other one because they just had these are just terrible projectors, right? So I'm going to turn on my per display. And once we turn one on, both of them are turned on. We're going to start with B1, honestly. And I can change my gamma over here. I can also change my brightness and contrast. But that's really not what I want. What I want this to do is I want to unlink my gammas and bring this to look as close to one as I would the other. See, if I bring these all the way up here, then we can just kind of match it the way we need to. And that's, that's pretty close. It's not perfect because one projector, the brightness is way higher than the other. And I could go into that projector and turn on the brightness a little bit and see maybe that'll help. But for now, we're going to leave it as is. And we're going to try to match it the best that we can. Now that we have that, we'll go back to our edge blending. And let's clean this up a little bit. Now, you'll want to mess with it a lot more and just get rid of that fine line. I will be honest and say that it looks a lot more obvious in the camera than it does in person. In person, you really cannot see it. But we're going to go ahead and save this. So we'll save it as our test.vmp. And we'll close that. And let's fire up Media Master. Okay, so we've got this up and going. Let's go into our preferences. And let's import that VMP file. Now that we've got that, let's go into some colors. So let's say I'm going to bring this up over here. We're going to full screen it. 
just to see what happens there. And look at that. Great. Now that we've got that all set up, let's go ahead and play with the actual mapper. So I'm going to go into my edit. We're going to full screen it again. So you can see it again. And now we can actually go into our surface and now we can move the surface around, right? So let's say I needed to map something in particular over here. And then I needed to add another surface over here. Whoops, let me drag that over there. There we go. All right, so we've got that surface there. We'll fix our crop so everything matches the way it should. Great, and then we can test it over here. There it is. Let's hide the red for a second. And there it is. So now you can take two, four, six, eight, however many projectors your computer can support. You can map it all out. You can connect them all together, do the edge blending, make everything look the way you want it to look. Then you can map it out like usual. And the gamma correction is really going to help out if you do get stuck with a different projector than the one you were planning on using. Or perhaps you have two different LED walls or even video screens. You can make things look as close to each other as you can. Arceus has made this super easy and I really, really like how they integrated the video mapper with the edge blending really fast, easy to use. Try it out for yourself. You'll be amazed how quickly you can catch on to it. Now, any questions, comments, anything like such, please leave them in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know if there are any tutorials that you would like to see on this channel. My name is Arnaldo Offerman. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night and God bless.